You're going to tell me where you're going right now. We're off to find Goku. We're gonna kill him. See, that's what I thought. Too bad that's not going to, because I'm going to blow every one You Saiyans sure are full of yourselves, aren't you? That pride of yours. It's just gonna... You've got quite the mouth on you for a machine. So who's up first? The punk? The woman? Or... Wait, that's right. We still haven't seen what you can do, 16. Negative. My prime directive is to eliminate only Goku. Wow. What a letdown. Vegeta! Are you all right? <laughs> so you came. Vegeta and 18 are about to fight. What? Still, just watching isn't much fun. You know what that means. You and I won't be having... <laughs> be warned. I don't... How do I guess since you're an android? You're not Prepare yourself! Don't tell me. That wasn't the best you could do, was it? Of course not. Let's go! Got a gun! Idiot. Ha! Goku guy is even stronger than me? I'm the stronger one! Ha! No matter. It's not my favorite thing to do. Either. Yourself. 
Prepare yourself! Believe it! Prepare yourself! I guess I better put you out of your misery. <laughs> Shut the hell up! <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't admit this, but I'm actually kind of impressed you held out this long. <clears throat> Damn you, woman! Oh. I think it's time we end this little game. Don't worry, they're still alive. You'd better hurry up, though. Give them those sensu beans of yours. So, should we get going? But, aren't we going to ask them the whereabouts of Goku? Nah. It'll be more fun if we have to find him ourselves. Ugh. You can be such a child sometimes, Seventeen. You know that- You think so? Whatever. I'm fine as long as we can make a stop in town. My clothes are a mess. I think I'm sure. Why not? Hey, wait. Huh? What do you want? What is it that you guys are after? I mean, why are you doing this? Well, first, we're going to take care of Goku. I mean, why are you going after Goku? Hey, this is all just a game. I mean, Goku's the strongest guy around. Am I right? You probably won't just stop because I asked you to, right? Negative. We were created for the sole purpose of eliminating Goku. You heard the big guy. Yeah. But shouldn't you be helping your friends instead of talking to us? They're gonna die. <laughs> See ya. Bye. I gotta help the others. So they knew all about the sensu beans and just let us go on our way. They didn't even feel the need to kill us. <laughs> Don't go after him. Just leave him be. He'd finally become a Super Saiyan regained his pride and confidence as a warrior. Getting beaten that badly was probably too much for him to take. Even Trunks, who defeated Frieza so easily, couldn't lay a finger on them. That's it, isn't it? No matter how strong Goku gets, there's no way we can win. Okay, here's the plan. You guys go to Goku's house, then move him to a different location immediately. Before we do anything else, we need to make sure Goku gets better. Uh, so... Uh, right. <laughs> What's gotten into Piccolo? Uh, he went that way. Uh, okay, I think I get it. He's got one final trick up his sleeve. One final trick? So, you know what's in that direction, right? Huh? I'm not really sure. What do you... It's Kami's place. And? What does that have to do with... When it? I was back on Planet Namek, I spoke to Guru. He told me that if Kami and Piccolo hadn't separated, they'd be as powerful as a Saiyan. 
So, I'm betting that Piccolo's gonna combine with Kami and go back to being his true warrior self. But wait, if Kami ceases to exist as he is now, won't the Dragon Balls disappear too? Uh, but if either of them dies separately, well then the same thing's gonna happen anyways. Piccolo probably feels like this is our best shot at taking down an enemy. But what about my fa- I, I mean, what about Vegeta? What do you think he's up to? Relax, there's no need to hide it anymore. I mean, we already know that you're Bulma's kid. All grown up and from the future. Vegeta's the only one who doesn't know. What? Uh, oh, uh, I see. I'm sorry for hiding. Hey, no need to apologize. I'm going to meet up with Chaozu. If things get hairy again, I'll be back. Gotcha. Okay. Make sure you tell Goku not to overdo it. Right. Overdo it, huh? <laughs> yeah, of all the times not to overdo it, now would actually be the time. The androids in my timeline were in no way that powerful. Has history really been altered that much? You're ready for a real challenge. This is it! Hey! Set! 
juicy apple. I can't wait to taste this apple. They look weak. No cause for concern. You're ready for a real challenge. Yeah, right! Who's that? This is it! Trunks, but I'm hungry. Grateful for this fine. Ah! <laughs> what a juicy apple! I can't wait to taste this apple. They look weak. No cause for concern. What? He 
here! Take this! Ah, no! Big Bang! Hold up! What? This is it! This is it! Uh, hello? Oh, I thought I heard someone. I was hoping Gohan... Trunks, let me introduce Goku's wife. Huh? Who are you? I hey, Cheek. Pleased to meet you. Krillin, you're all right. Oh, Yamcha. How's Goku? He's fine. He took his medicine. So you're the guy from the future, huh? <laughs> no. Sorry, but we'll fill you in later. First, we need to move Goku to... What's going on? Two. Actually, three scary androids... Oh, no, that's not good. All right, it's all packed up. Now we just wait for Gohan. There he is. Huh? What's that? We'll tell you on the way. Come on, tell us. Have any leads just yet? Didn't you hear me before? It's more fun than... Regardless, we should still have some kind of... Hey, 16. What about you? Goku's house is located in the mountains. So you did know something. You're just full of surprises. Affirmative. If we fly, we should arrive in a matter of minutes. I know, right? See, this guy gets it. You're such a whiner. It's gonna be more fun. <sighs> you know what? You can be a real... We're just about at Master Roshi's place. Hey, Krillin. Yeah? We should probably let Bulma in on everything that's happening, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're right. So, what does that mean I have to call her? Aw, oh, man. You know, your mom isn't exactly easy to talk to sometimes. <laughs> She's the same in my time, too. Uh, Bulma? It's, uh, it's Krillin. Krillin? You're all right? Why didn't you tell me before? Is my son, uh, my future son, there? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Why? What's up? Well, I heard from headquarters that we got a call a few days ago from someone out west in the countryside. They said they found a strange vehicle in the mountains that had Capsule Corporation written on the side of it. I got them to send me a photo, which I then tried to match with a database of our products to see who it might belong to. But it didn't match anything I could find. I thought Trunks might know something about it. It's covered in moss, and it looks really old. Would you mind taking a look for me? I'll send you a pic. 
Wait, this is... Yeah. It's definitely the time machine I came here in. But how is that possible? I've got my time machine right here with my other capsules. I thought this might be a time machine, but what's it doing in a place like that? Do you know the exact location of the time machine? Well, not the exact location, but I do know that it's somewhere out in West District 1050. You headed there? Yes. I'd like to see it for myself. Then I'm coming too. We can meet up near the machine's location. I'd like to help you look for it too. Is that okay? <gasps> Of course. Thank you. Go on. Don't worry, Mom. We're not going anywhere dangerous. We'll be safe. Um, trunks? Yeah? I was wondering, is... is the future really all that bad? It is. Humanity has been reduced to only tens of thousands of people. Th that's terrible! Hmm... Ah. Yup! Yeah. Ah. Weak. No cause for concern. in the way back. 
a mango this delicious before. There's so much energy in this. I'm extremely grateful for this find. They look weak. No cause for concern. I'm gonna take you down! It's here! Take this! Oh, 
Here! 
They look weak. No cause for concern. I can't believe I was lucky enough to find this! Completely intact. It's strange to see it like this. I was lucky enough to find this. Great. I should be able to use this. Be in this area. Let's start looking. Trucks, that's it over there, 
isn't it? Uh, that's a time machine, all right. I can't believe I was lucky enough to find this. I can feel power surging through me. I'm extremely grateful for this find. Hi, Bulma! Hey, you're both here! So this is the time machine you were talking about? Yeah, that's right. Here, I'll take out my time machine. Check it out. This is the time machine I came in. As you can see, it's identical to the other one. But this one looks like it's been here for a really long time. It looks like something made this hole by melting the dome from the inside. Let's take a look inside. What? Ew! What is it? I... I'm not sure. What's it doing in the time machine? This is... some sort of... <sighs> What's going on? It's not just this egg that confuses me. Huh? I looked at the onboard panel and happened to see when this time machine... What do you mean? Obviously, it's from the same time... Actually, it's from even further in the future. Three years after I left. Three years? And that's not all. The panel showed that it arrived here four years ago. Uh, uh... So that means this thing arrived here one year before I did. What's going on? I thought the reason the two androids, Goku, and the others fought were different. And the reason history had changed so much was because of my coming. But this, it's possible this thing might actually be the cause of all the changes. Uh, wait, what's that? What's what? Oh, it's just, I was wondering what What on earth is it? It's some sort of exoskeleton. Gross. An exoskeleton? I bet that's what was inside the egg. Right. It probably grew too big for its skin. But how did it end up in this time period? Either someone placed the egg in the time machine, or they... Uh, hey. You guys... Yeah. Then uh, we better... You guys are going to be at Kame House, right? I'll... Right, thanks. I... What's going on? Kami looked down in both amazement and fear as Gohan and the others discovered the mysterious exoskeleton. Just as Kami had feared, a town that was near the exoskeleton was getting a taste of that terror. Trunks and Krillin made their way to the town to investigate. Aware of the coming disaster, Kami accepted his fate and prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. What Earth needs now is not a watchful eye from above, but a powerful new defender. Then, around the same time, Piccolo, filled with a greater sense of determination after the fight with the androids, made his way to Kami's lookout. Bio-Android Fiend from the future.
I can't believe I'm actually going to see that old prune. I hope you're ready for this, Kami. Kami, I assume you know why I'm here. That I do, Piccolo. Though I am Earth's guardian, I stand powerless before the threat to obliterate it. There's nothing more vexing. All right. Then you're ready to do this? To become one again? Of course. Though I am not without my doubts, I'll have you know. After all that's happened, don't tell me you're scared. Well, if I am, would you be capable of alleviating that fear? What? A long time ago, in my ignorance, I allowed evil to take root in my heart. Those who walk the path of darkness are fated to become demons. This was demonstrated by my other half, King Piccolo, for I to repeat the same mistake after our fusion. The resulting catastrophe would far eclipse the android menace. <laughs> Skip to the point, old man. Why do you hesitate? Spin. Mm. Well, your forthright resolve certainly gives me a bit of hope. Very well. Answer me this, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation a little longer? Oh, come on. Whatever foe stands before us, we will defeat it. It's that simple. I see. Then allow me to ask you one more question. Once we merge, the Dragon Balls will be lost. Well, what of your resolve now? The Dragon Balls aren't an issue. If I fight as I am now, I'll be killed. You'll disappear, and the Dragon Balls disappear too. They're gone either way. So? If we need to send those murder machines to the compactor, we need to take a stand now. I see. Your reasoning is sound. Very well, Piccolo. To one flesh and one spirit we shall return. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. That's right. Earth needs extra power. It seems like I'm the one that's going to provide that. Very well. I will lend my body to you. Uh, call me. I'm going to be the base. Got Indeed. I will provide you with nothing more than a power boost and my vast knowledge. Once on the surface, head to Ginger Town. There is a monster there wreaking havoc. You'll learn all the other details once we combine, as you will have access to everything that I know. Got it. Thank you for everything, Mr. Popo. <laughs> Farewell, Kami. Please, don't die. I am neither Kami nor Piccolo. I am a Namekian who's forgotten his true name. Right, I'm off. Huh? 
energy. It feels weird to be reunited with my other half. Expecting to find something this good. Hey! <laughs> mm, now this is more like it. If only I'd known about this freak sooner, I could have done something. I wasn't expecting to find something this good. This ought to be some high quality meat. This looks like an excellent apple. This is a nice looking apple. This ought to be some high quality meat. <laughs> looks like someone wants to die. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this. I can't move! Never beat me.
monster shouldn't have made his way here yet. That rock, it's oddly shaped. like someone wants to die. This thing that's killing all these people. Who or what could it possibly be? Thank you. 